visible or not is that audio video clear kindly confirm once is that audio video clear right great thank you so much so guys uh, ugc net 2023 commerce and management previous year questions uh, with regard to uh, uh, accounting and auditing 2022 previous year question on topic wise basis we were discussing now we are uh, going to start with our unit number 2 yesterday unit number 1 is done now unit number 2 we are going to start with it right let's start without late uh, first we'll be uh, going towards previous year questions of commerce accounting and auditing and uh, today 9 pm on daily 9 pm mass 2023 ugc net paper paper one previous year question with explanation we are doing guys uh, so you can join into free platform of an academy so at a 9 pm today not in an academy free platform today we'll be having a youtube live session so there will be having a uh, session with respect to 9 pm mass 2023 questions in the youtube only we'll be going live right so do attend that session and uh, guys one more important thing is that there is a uh, 799 rupees only biggest offer ever in an academy plus subscription 20% off triple nine is the one month subscription plan and 20% off by using my referral code shiva live so that you will get 799 only one month an academy plus subscription which you will be you will be getting mock test and uh, revision courses pyqs everything will be available and an academy plus subscription you can go and take it right and here uh, there is a 20% off is going on on all an academy subscription so you can go for the december 2023 candidate who are preparing so all the courses got launched if you want to access to that one you can just use the invite code shiva live to unlock that offer and moreover guys uh, mock test every sunday at 9 pm with a respective rewards will be there let's start with the questions question number 1 of the 2022 previous year questions of accounting chalo please do hit a like button if you like the session and do not forget to subscribe to this channel answer for this question please so your option one is a correct uh, sorry not one wait yes option 1 only option 1 is the correct answer so this is a marginal costing will be linked to the amount of any given volume of output which is aggregate cost or change if the volume of output is increased by one unit so the change in one unit the change in one unit here face is blur even the screen is also blur
and abc casting is about uh, casting in which costs are being tracing of an activities and then to producing the product and even target casting is related to one which is integrating the approach to determine the product features and the price and product cost and product design that help to ensure a company to earn a reasonable profit on new product company to earn a reasonable profit on a new product and here target casting uh, which is based on the target profit will aim will decide the target sales price also based on that will try to reduce the cost of the product and d3 which is process costing in which one process after another so there will be a production series of step will be there we should identify the cost incurred in each process of the production step wise question number 2 here in this software i can't write don't know why where i have to write here i don't have any pen to write हेलो हेलो नमस्ते नौ दिन फुली फाइन Yeah, well, only now I am visible. Ah, now it will come. It will come. Don't worry. Now everything will. Chala chala. so this question answer is option d is the correct answer option d it's logical sequence of management audit first d identify and segregating the objective of business and after that b review of organization structure a identification of responsibility centers and e which is review of performance of each responsibility center and finally reporting management audit means the audit which will be conducted to review the management decisions and management process of conducting the business that's what management audit is all about next which of the following rights is usually not available to a partner consequent to dissolution of the firm
so answer is option c right to be consulted there is no right will be available to a partner after dissolution of the firm there is no consultation is required because after the consequent to dissolution of the firm right to be consulted will not be available if you look at the right of a dissolution right after the dissolution section 46 of the indian partnership act 1932 deals with the rights available to a partner after the dissolution are right to equitable lien like other partners right to return the premium that they receive when the partnership is formed and right where partnership contract is revoked for a fraud or for other reasons and right to restrain the use of firm's name or firm's property even after the dissolution also and the right to end the personal profit by using the firm name these rights will be available because here the partnership firm is getting dissolved dissolved not the partnership alone so firm means it's a dissolution of the partnership also next good evening hello gubita 360 degree all old people are coming now because exam date announced na Guys, do hit a like button if you like this session. Do hit a like button if you like this session. Which of the following business would most likely to use the job order costing? Answer is option D is the correct answer. That is a print shop that specializes in wedding invitation. So wedding invitation means suppose 100 wedding cards to be printed for a particular wedding. So that is one job. Another wedding means another job, like job order will be according to the requirement of that particular person. They will take the order and they will prepare that job. When incoming partner cannot bring a premium for goodwill, then which of the following is necessary for the adjustment of goodwill is done through with which of the following. So goodwill account of the partners, capital account of new partners, balance sheet of new partnership firm, profit and loss appropriation of account, which one will be? Sir, no clarity. Madam, increase your resolution first. Time is there, madam. Fill it, fill it. Do not worry. Don't get tensed. Time is there. Time is there. Please do fill it. First June, I think. First June or 31st May, first fill it before that. C. Answer is option B. Capital account of new partner. Because when he can't bring the premium for goodwill, then necessary adjustment has to be done by a capital account of the new partner with a old partner. New partner's capital account debited and old partner's capital account credited with respect to share of the new partner capital account is debited with his or her share of a goodwill and sacrificing partner capital account is credited with a sacrificing ratio whatever the goodwill is bringing by the new partner will be shared in the sacrificing ratio by these partners a company does not include the value of skills gained by its employees from training programs in its annual financial statements which one of the following accounting concepts is being applied in this case answer is that money measurement concept because here yeah, simply skill of employee we cannot record in the uh, books of account as skill of employee does not have any value in a monetary form as per the money measurement concept the money measurement concept says that only which is in monetary value to be recorded in the books of account so when we are not recording means it is as per the money measurement concept only next the contribution margin increased by which of the following sales minus variable cost equal to contribution how can we increase this one Either we need to increase the selling price or we need to reduce the variable cost. Either way, we can do that. Either way, we can do that. So answer will be option C. Answer will be option C. That is A and B. So increase in selling price per unit, either increase in selling price per unit, uh, B, change in the sales mixture, selling more profitable products for which PV ratio is higher. I would say you can decrease the variable cost per unit also to increase the contribution. 
by keeping the sales price constant you can decrease the variable cost per unit or uh, then in then in such case also conservation will increase or you can change in the sales mixture selling more profitable products for which pv ratio is higher so whichever is having higher sales price that type of products to be sold more so that it will be yielding more and more profit uh, left over after deducting the variable cost study the given table now you have to answer every question because you are doing chit chat in the chat box i am asking you to answer you then you are doing chit chat what to do here it is hotness is feeling like a burner which are the following is a break even point in units break even point in units formula will be fixed cost divided by conservation per unit fixed cost we know conservation per unit will be 11 plus 3 total how much uh, 14 so 20 minus 14 will be 6 will be the conservation per unit so 6 fixed cost will be 540 252 how much total fixed cost is 297 7 lakh 92 divided by 6 6 1 6 6 3 18 62 so 1 lakh 32000 units is a correct answer option a next based on the same information what is a number of sales means quantity of sales in units to gain a profit of 60000 means fixed cost plus desired profit divided by contribution per unit fixed cost is 7 lakh 92000 we know plus desired profit is 60000 divided by contribution per unit is 6 that is in rupees so 6 1 6 6 3 3 18 6 2 12 Six twos are one lakh forty-two thousand units. Option D is the correct answer. Yes. Next. On the basis of the following, break-even point in terms of the rupees. Fixed cost divided by PV ratio. Seven lakh ninety-two thousand divided by PV ratio is how much? Contribution by sales. Contribution is six divided by sales into hundred. So twenty-five is a thirty percentage will be the PV ratio. Three two is a six. Three six is a eighteen. Three four is a twelve. Two lakh sixty-four thousand. Sorry, twenty-six lakh forty thousand. Otherwise, whatever the break-even we got it now one lakh thirty-two thousand in the question number one. That you can multiply with a sales price, which will become twenty-six lakh forty thousand. Either way, you can get it from the question number one. Sir, question me first question me PV ratio क्यों नहीं आया? मैडम आपको समझ नहीं आते इंग्लिश एवरीबडी वॉज टेलिंग इन द चार्ट बॉक्स एंड आई एम ऑल्सो टेलिंग 
this is in terms of the rupees now you are correct if you are applying the pv ratio there in terms of the units when it is in units form now divided by contribution per unit now you are correct vidushi now you are you can apply the fixed cost divided by pv ratio you can apply either way contribution per unit per unit so that number of units of break even which one of the following is a uh, pv ratio of the company just now i calculated pv ratio answer is c 30 percentage so that's about the questions next second shift questions question number 1 written plan containing a details regarding the conduct of a particular audit is called audit memorandum audit uh, planning procedure audit notebook audit program do hit a like button guys please do subscribe to this channel hit a like button do subscribe to this channel as well so answer is audit program is a correct one because audit program is nothing but it's a plan of action what to do what not to do in the during the audit procedure what are the things that need to be considered everything will be planned by the auditor and the staff members of the auditor will be designed next which are the following are the key features of prudent accounting concept we never thought the prudent prudent accounting concept in this way we have understood what is prudent and conservative approach of a concept but by looking at the statement which were given now there is a new way of looking at fast 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 do hit a like button do hit a like button do hit a dislike button if you don't like the session but you have to do something don't be silent option d is a correct answer d is a correct answer it includes revenue and profits in accounts when they are realized revenue and profits in accounts when they are realized and here b it prevents a profits from being overstated because prudent concept is saying that account for the estimated future losses but do not record the estimated future profits revenues and profit only whenever they are realized we will record but we will estimate the future losses in advance and we will record for it it prevents a trader from more withdrawing from the business than is wise because the loss is we are being shown more so in such case it amount will be less for withdraw satya bas in days 1 in days 12 in days 24 38 12 will give you the answer and 1 will give you the answer so answer is option number b is a correct answer that is in days is 4 12 is income taxes 
IT, 1, 2. And 24 is related party disclosures, 38 is intangible asset. Which of the following decisions are valid in relation to marginal costing? So answer is A is a correct answer. In relation to marginal costing, costing special are one of opportunities, one of opportunities and B, make or buy, make or buy decision we can do it, choosing between the competing alternative actions and e, employing a penetration or a destroyer pricing strategy, penetration or a destroying pricing strategy will be employed over here. So these are the valid in relation to what is a special R of transaction. Special R one of opportunities. What is the special R one of opportunities? simply based on the variable cost that we have arrived how much cost we are incurring we will identify for making a product then we'll compare this any opportunities available to produce or get this product at a lower cost than actually what we are producing so that's what one of opportunities nothing but if we have that opportunities we'll take that opportunity and we'll stop producing start buying only it's like make or buy What happened by suddenly why you people will go i don't know should not waste the time actually you should not waste the time if you are that much busy now not even enter into the class i will always tell this point but still you do the same we are that much busy. Who are asking you to enter forcibly by? Just get out of the class if you are that much busy. And do the work and then come back to the session if you are uh, free. Option D is a correct answer. D is a correct answer. So standard material cost, 1000 units of an output. 400 kg of a material. 400 kg of a material and here 2.5 kg it is 400 kg 2.5 per kg right when 2000 units are produced it is found that actual consumption of a raw material was 825 kg so that was 2.70 per kg for a 2000 output now they are asking material usage variance nothing but quantity variance right material usage is variance is nothing but quantity variance look at the question first so standard quantity of material minus actual quantity of a material into standard price so the simply usage is nothing but quantity variance standard quantity minus actual quantity into standard price standard price is 2.5 we know standard quantity is that 800 kg a25 is a, but 800 kg how you got it by try to understand one point here which i mentioned 1000 units of output 400 kg is required for 2000 unit how many kg are required 800 kg because 1000 into 1000 is become double then my input also will become double so 400 becomes 800 as a standard raw material which is required so 800 minus 825 which is 25 into 2.5 62.5 will be the adverse 
in fund flow statement which one of the following is not a valid statement it is useful for the external financial management which is not a valid statement means it is useful for external financial management because uh, fund flow statement is a fund movement we have to understand the fund movement and it is prepared only it is not a mandatory requirement as per the section number 128 of the financial statements which is as per the company side it is not part of the financial statement mandatory also it is an optional statement which company as per the requirement they will prepare for to know the fund movement in a one year right to know the sources and application of funding majorly that to uh, most importantly working capital movement they wanted to know whether increase working capital is there or decreasing working capital by preparing a working capital schedule they will right so divide uh, dividend received is a source of fund and its preparation is a discretion of management its preparation is a discretion of management and it is useful for external financial management it is useful for external financial management it will not be this is not going to be published outside this is only for the company internal purpose break even point is not affected by with the changes in which one of the following sales price per unit variable cost per unit number of units sold total fixed cost break even point is not affected with the changes in which of the following answer is option c because number of units will not decide the break even point based on the break even point we will break even number of units will be there but number of units sold will not be deciding the break even point for a break even point we require a for a break even point we require a selling price we require a variable cost because to identify the contribution to identify the pv ratio and we require a fixed cost so one another way these three requirements are there number of units is not at all important for me to identify the break even point next what will be the sequence of steps involved in net benefit model of the hra hra net benefit model human resource accounting net benefit model answer is option a that is a gross value of services rendered in future by the employee in their individual as well as collective capacity is determined so the employee who is existed what will be the services rendered in the future number 1 later the future payments what we are going to make a payment to the that particular employee who is going to render the service in future after that the excess of value of future human resources over the future payment whatever the future services and future payment if any excess payment that we made and after that see the present value of net benefit is determined we will convert that value the excess value into a present value terms to identify or applying a predetermined rate and 
finally e the calculated the amount calculated under this c which is by using a predetermined rate we will calculate the present value this present value which is c will be the value of human resources to the organization net benefit what company is getting actually net benefit what company is getting they'll estimate the future services to be taken from that employee and what payment we are going to make the difference between what company is getting what company is for going for that employee the difference between that is that net payment if you are making excess payment and if you are making less payment to the service received so the both will be deciding either a positive or a negative a favorable or unfavorable variance will be arise so that we will be converting into a present value of a net benefit by determining the discount rate discount rate like a present value factor will be there that factor will be multiplied with a, the difference of the value which we got it by doing a minus d by doing a minus d that value will be treated as an the value of the human resources which ultimately the company is getting a benefit out of it as per section 68 of the indian companies act a company may purchase its own shares out of which are the following Superb. Answer is B. A. Free reserves. They can buy their own shares. Own shares is nothing but simply buyback process is going on. So how can they do? Uh, they do buyback by using a free reserves of the business and be security premium account because security premium, as per the section number fifty-two, one of the uh, as per the section number fifty-two of the Companies Act. says that there are five purposes which in which security premium account balance can be utilized one of the main purpose is that buyback of the shares after that general reserve also you can utilized and after that d which is proceeds of any other issue but proceeds of the same kind of shares will not be utilized for purchase of the own shares or buyback of the shares there is a sequence also right which sequence next the profit for the year before appropriation of the partnership firm was 50000 no 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 there is no free see that i think you are speaking about uh, the sources for buyback how the order of utilization ah first usually anything that we have to do it from the free resources which is free reserve then only specific reserve you can enter profit for the year before appropriation of the partnership firm is 50000 shagun receives a salary of 4000 and interest 10 percentage Paranam on the capital of one lakh. Amir, other partner, receives the interest and capital at the same rate, ten percentage, on eighty-nine thousand capital. Next, the profits and share uh, losses shared equally. Total share of profit credited to Amir's current account. Share of profits credited to Amir's current account. this is profit and loss appropriation account 50000 is there as a net profit salary need to be paid salary need to be paid after that on uh, capital your 10 percentage 10000 need to pay for the 8900 need to pay then remaining will be how much left over 
22,900, which means 23,000. So 27,100 will be the profit. Correct. But Ami's current account, they are saying. Ami's current account, how much profit will be? Let's try to calculate. How much? 27,100 into 1 by 2. Uh, two ones are two threes are six, two fives are ten, two fives are ten zero. Thirteen fifty, thirteen five fifty will come. Thirteen five fifty, yes, correct. In days one, yeah, twenty eight thirty four. Already we have gotten shift number two. Same, only eight is changed, remaining are same. Total share as the Are madam Ruko Jara. Where the total share is asked? Answer is here. Wait, 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 wait. So sorry, sorry. Total share of profit credited to Ami's current account. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, 13,550 is a share of profit plus 8,900 he gained as part of the interest and capital. Ah, total. Total 22,450, which is correct. Correct, 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 correct. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have left in the middle, I think. Current account will go with other amounts, na, other than the capital. Interest on drawings, interest on capital, profit sharing, goodwill, everything will go. Perfect, perfect. Priya, Shrimali and Rishika. So your answer is that option one. One is a correct answer. That is, in days one presentation of financial statement, in days eight is an accounting policies and changes in accounting estimates and errors. And uh, 28 is an investment in associates and joint venture. 34 is an interim financial reporting. Which of the following are the reasons for material usage? Usage is nothing but a quantity variance. Quantity variance. Quantity variance are given as in C. Negligence in use of the material. Because of that only standard quantity and actual quantity will vary. C. Poor and improper machine handling. Due to machine wastage also the material will get wasted. Wastage due to inefficient production methods that we are following. Method of production. And a change in product design. Product design requiring using different from the uh, standard. So the design of the product which made it in the standard is different and actually the design you are using is different. Due to this reason, it will be. Next, a firm is exposed to translation loss if it uses. Actually, this is not part of, this will come in the, uh, you know, this business finance part. Do not worry. Why not we? Changes in base price, madam, if the base price is also a uh, reason for a quantity variance, the number of units, then what about price variance? How the price? Because the price may also change the quality, Bhagwan. Yes, 100% you are correct. Are we talking about the quality or quantity? Are we talking about the quality or quantity? Quantity variance, which means quantity we need to look at, not the quality. C. 
she is the unique piece we cannot get that thought process at all she can win in any debate actually because she will make the other person speechless the examination of documentary evidence in support of transactions contained in the books of account is called as an vouching documentary evidence means which is each and every support invoice will be checked that comes under the vouching there is a change in profit there is a change in profit sharing ratio of old partners when new partner gets his share of profit from all partners so answer is a when there is a change in profit ratio uh, profit sharing ratio old partners when a new partner gets a gets his share of profit from all partners from all partners and a new partner will get a share of profit from all the partners in a equal ratio or old ratio and when new partner is admitted into partnership for certain share of profit then combined share of old partners will be reduced because they are sacrificing it for the new partner P ratio, earning yield ratio, price book ratio, and uh, relative P/E ratio. Sab sahi hai. Bas only the exam it will go wrong. Answer is D. because p ratio is a third one stock price divided by earning price ratio that is market price per share divided by eps price per share eps earning per share earning yield ratio earning yield ratio which is eps divided by stock price that is eps divided by mps and price book ratio which is one stock price divided by accounting net worth mps divided by net worth and relative price uh, price earning ratio is 2 forms pe ratio divided by index pe ratio pe ratio divided by index pe ratio this is a new one which of the following approaches was suggested by brumet flambouj and pai this is human resource accounting approaches option b historical cost approach historical cost approach is the correct answer next section number 139 5 141 142 143 so answer for this question is option c that is simply 141 i know that is qualification and disqualification right and appointment of auditor by the cog which is 1395 for the government auditor government company 
powers and duties of auditor which is 143 142 remuneration of auditor winding up process of company by the tribunal in chronological sequence this is the last and final question guys with this we are putting an end to total all three shifts accounting and auditing previous year questions Did you remember the answer? I think. Achha, it is shown already. Oh, sorry. Option C. First, predation for winding up. Appointment of liquidator. And submit our company liquidator report. After that, D. Direction of tribunal on company liquidator. And finally, settle the list of contributors from List A to list H. A to H contributors will be there. Right. Thank you so much. So have a great day, guys. And if you like the session, please do hit a like button and uh, do not forget to share with your friends. Right. Thank you so much. We'll be meeting at 9 p.m. for the YouTube live at an academy channel uh, for the March 2023 paper one previous year question. The link will be available in Telegram. The Telegram link is given in the description to join there to, so that you will get all the updates on daily basis. Thank you so much. Bye to all.